Right, so people always ask me for easy Mediterranean breakfast ideas and today I'm gonna show you something I make on the regular, my savory breakfast bowls Mediterranean style. Ready for it? All right, we are starting with some boiled eggs. Now I like mine soft and jammy, so they only take six minutes or so in boiling water, shock them in an ice bath and they are ready. You probably tried this trick on your forehead. No? It's like, ow! Okay, we won't do that. We're gonna just, <laughs> we're gonna just go like this. So that's not a thing here, huh? People don't crack their eggs on their forehead. Beautiful eggs are ready. Now we're gonna go ahead and prep a few more ingredients. We have some mushrooms. So I'm just gonna half the mushrooms because I like them to be a good size so they can char nicely. Don't love mushrooms, you can use other things. You can use zucchini, you can use bell peppers, whatever. So let's go to the skillet and put this party together. Extra virgin olive oil, the start of everything delicious. Right, turn on the heat about medium high-ish, a drizzle of the good stuff, extra virgin olive oil. You can find this on the MediterraneanDish.com, just hit the shop tab when you get there. We're gonna go in with our mushrooms. We're gonna cook the mushrooms first until they kind of soften and gain some color, and then we're gonna add the other ingredients to it. They're gonna release some juices, and that's exactly what we wanna do. I like to cook them on their flat side first. What really helps is a pinch of kosher salt, because now that these have absorbed the olive oil, I need them to release some juices. All right, I'm not gonna disturb them for just a minute here. I'm gonna turn them on their flat side and leave them alone for a bit. And then I'm gonna go mince some garlic. Release, release. There's a little magic involved here. Look at this color. This is what I'm looking for here, you guys. They've softened, they're juicy, and they are beautifully charred. We're gonna go in with the tomatoes. I'm gonna help them a little bit more with some olive oil. Yeah, sizzle. And we're gonna go in with some spinach. Don't worry, it's gonna wilt. Going in with some garlic. And you didn't think I was gonna make this without garlic, did you? You know, because garlic, it's life, right? And by the way, remember that you can do this entire thing ahead of time and just save it in the fridge to assemble your bowls on the go whenever you need them. You can serve your breakfast bowls with no bread at all. But for this family, we're gonna do a little bit of pita. Yes, I'm telling you, such good stuff. We are going to put this party together. So first, add in my hummus. Take a jammy egg. Ooh, yes. This is perfectly soft. Cook the eggs to your liking, and if you don't even like boiled eggs, you can make scrambled eggs, you can make whatever egg you like. Then we're gonna take some of this beautiful mixture and put that right here. A few Kalamata olives, a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, and by drizzle I need, what do you call this? A pool of extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> For a little bit of flavor, kosher salt. Really you can season this bowl however you guys like. I'm gonna use za'atar or za'atar and a little bit of Aleppo pepper. And we've talked about Aleppo style pepper before, you guys. This has got enough of a kick, but it also has that beautiful, subtle sweetness, almost like a sun-dried tomato, but even better. So you can get this on the MediterraneanDish.com as well as the za'atar. This bowl does not take much effort to make, but if you want to work ahead of time, you can go ahead and saute your veggies and keep them in your fridge. You can make my homemade creamy hummus. I have a video just for that. For the recipe for these beautiful Mediterranean savory breakfast bowls, head to the MediterraneanDish.com. I will see you later. Ciao. Mm. Do I have hummus all over my mouth? <laughs>